Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Misty and I have another Mother's Day card. I know my last video was also a Mother's Day card, but I have been so blessed with three mothers, um, so I decided to make another one. The challenge this week at Always Fun Challenges is dry embossing, so um, yep, yeah, so that's what this video is about. Um, I have my real mother, my stepmother, and also my mother-in-law who I adore. So I decided to make this one using this adorable bunny by Purple Onion Designs. Her name is Rosie. Um, I, I've had her for a while and I, I haven't used her, so I'm ex super excited to get to use her on this card. Uh, I'll quickly go through the Copic coloring, but I'll list all the colors I've used uh, on my blog if you want to see what colors I used. But for now, I'll just go through it uh, pretty quickly. Um, this card was super easy to make. The What took me the longest was the coloring the bunny. So once you get past the coloring part, the rest of it is really easy. So isn't that bunny adorable? I love all purple onion design um, images. All of them are very cute. So the maker of this particular image is Stacy Yakula, I think is how you say her name, um, but she has the cutest images um, the, of all these cute little characters, but you gotta check them out at Purple Onion Designs. So I kind of did a two-tone here for this bunny. Um, I did him, or her, sorry, her, um, like a light tan, um, a lot of the E's on top, and then... Um, for a little bit for the body and the bottom of the ears, I did a lot of the W's. So it's kind of like a two-tone bunny here, but it really worked well together. I saw on Pinterest, I think it was, that somebody did something similar. Um, I assume it's with Copics, but it was kind of the two-tone. And so I figured I would try it for myself to see if I could get it to turn out. And I actually, I really like the way it turned out. At first I thought I would just do it for shading um, to kind of look like a shadow, but um, yeah, then I just went with it and I think it turned out good. I stuck with the E's on the top and then I did um, a lot of the W's for the, for the darker colors. So I added R30 to the cheeks and then I also did the inside of the ears uh, with the R30. Seems a little bit softer than the R20. I know a lot of people use the R20 for cheeks, but the R30 um, is pretty soft. Or sometimes I'll even do the R20 and then go over it with the R30 just to blend it out. That works too. All right, so then I was trying to decide what I was going to do with the rest of her. Oh, no, it looks like I'm going to finish coloring the flower in her hand first, but. Yeah, so the, the theme was dry and boss, so that was the whole point of this. So I just had to figure out how to bring that and this together to create a card. I actually created, let's see, one, two, I created three cards before I created this one, um, just using embossing folders. Um, you know, it's a pretty easy theme. Dry embossing, you can just use an embossing folder. Um, but, I don't know, it just seemed too simple. <laughs> so that's what I do best, I make things difficult. Um, so, I'll share those on my blog as well. Uh, if you're just looking for some simple, easy, quick thank you cards or thinking of you cards, um, I'll show you some that I made in like five minutes just using uh, embossing folders. All right, so I took this polka dot embossing folder. It's by We Are Memory Keepers. And I had this um, like minty green. I bought a minty green kick, aren't I? My other Mother's Day card um, it was mint green too. But anyway, so I just found some minty green paper um, using the embossing folder and then I was trying to find a purple. I was trying to match up the purple and the little flower there But I didn't quite have that exact color. So I just went with a darker purple and then 
I'm using the Happy 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 stamp set by Lawn Fawn. Um, and I'm just trying to match. I know I knew I wanted my ink color to match the um, now I'm just trying to match the paper. So the Hot Mama was the best match. It was almost perfect for this that color purple. Yeah, my my lid stuck to the ink pad. It was really weird. Like that little string almost ruined my card. I would have been devastated. So I didn't quite know which happy I wanted to use, so I just stamped out both of them. And since I have the dies there, um, I figured I'd just cut both of them out and see which one I liked best. I, I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I, I just tried a couple things until I found something that I liked. I almost think I almost think I should have done a square card um, looking back on it now but you know I mean I'm happy with the way it turned out but square card might have been a little bit easier so um, I wanted the so the happy to be up at the top and then Mother's Day I thought I could just do a simple banner across the bottom with the Mother's Day um, and I didn't know if it was getting too purpley here, so I did one in the purple, and then I did one in just the tuxedo black ink, too. Just because I wasn't sure which one I was going to like best. So I stamped it out on both colors. Um, cut it out with just a simple banner die there. Uh, let's see, what is that banner? I think that's from My Favorite Things. But I'll put um, links to all the products I used in the description below, as always. But yeah, the, the banner there, that short little banner, it was just, uh, it seemed like it was getting lost down at the bottom. Uh, it was too, it was like even with this, the stitch square that I had rosy in, and it just wasn't liking it. I just, I, there, no matter what I did, I wasn't liking it. So I tried a couple different things. I tried putting the, the, the whole sentiment down at the bottom, and then I decided maybe it was I needed something else so I used this happy die instead and decided to try it with replacing the um, the happy instead of stamping it out I just cut it out really love the scripty font uh, of this this die all right so I'm gonna keep playing around with this until I get something I like And then I tried a different banner um, die. I was thinking maybe because it was too lined up or too small. I don't know what it was. It was, I guess, all of the above. I just didn't like it. I just didn't like this one. So I tried the uh, banner here that you can kind of fold. I figured it would give it a little more interest. And so it has kind of a curved one. And the set also came with one that's just a straight across one, and then you, you fold the corners. So sometimes, just to make it easier, I'll take it um, and right where the crease is, I'll just you know score it. Just makes it easier to fold. You don't have to do that. I don't do it all the time, but just did for this one. And I didn't realize I was out of the shot either, so I'm sorry. And I found my winner. I liked this one. And it, the weird thing is, is it's still even with the, the square, but I don't know. I don't know why I liked this one and I didn't like the other one. But I found the one I was looking for. So I'm just going to go down the embossed part of my card and then just start gluing everything down. Or not yet. <laughs> I kind, you know, I kind of liked it that way too. It was just something different. I don't see, you know, colored images at the bottom all that often, so I kind of liked it that way. But I asked my hubby which way he liked it, and he liked it better the way I had it before. So that's the way I, I went. 
How could you not love that image? All of their images are so adorable. There's a couple other ones that I stamped out that I'm hoping I'll have time to color. I love this um, glue pen. It's really nice for these intricate dies. You know, you can also run it through, um, oh, what is that sticker machine called? You know, the Xyron. It's a little Xyron sticker maker machine. So you can also run it through that. That works great too. Or just glue it like I did. Okay, adding some multimedia matte glue to the edges of my banner there. And I almost, at first I was going to put a glue dot behind, um, behind the two, I don't know where my fingers are, I was going to put glue dots. Um, but then I, you know, I like that it popped up a little bit. I figured it kind of gave it some more, some more dimension. I mean, the polka dots give it some dimension, but... I just like that it was kind of popped up. All right, and all that's left to do is to put my card on my card base, and that is it. Um, I hope you like this video. Uh, don't forget to go to the Always Fun Challenges blog if you want to participate or just see some really pretty cards. And you can also go to my blog uh, for more information on this card and to see all the list of which Copics I used to color Rosie here. So thank you so much. I uh, will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.